And there's that wipeout slider on the 0-2 and back-to-back -back strikeouts for Landon Sims to start the first. And to the left side, Forsyth. And it'll be an infield single for Saldivar to get everything started here in the first. 41 degrees, wind blowing at 8 miles an hour. Swing and a miss, the elevated fastball, and Landon Sims strikes out the side in the top of the first. What you were going to give up defensively, but Hancock played well. Popped him up into shallow left field, ranging in Rosales. He's there to make the catch, and both of these pitchers work one, two, three, inning, one, two, three innings in the first. You guys, Mississippi State will have going this weekend. Pitched under 15 innings last year. High pop-up, foul territory, and Hancock hits the dirt, and he is out. Some guys leaving the dugout for Long Beach, and official's going to go over and have some discussions there. Swing and a miss. And the fourth strikeout for Landon Sims. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss, and that will end the inning. So five strikeouts for Landon Sims. And to the right side. South of R again over to first and a 1-2-3 inning for the Bulldogs here in the second. Long Beach State, tremendous defensive catcher. And he waves at that fastball, and that's strikeout number six for Landon Sims. The situation earlier. Went up to top with the fastball, and they're going to call out Rosales and say he leaned in and took that fastball high. And here comes Eric Valenzuela out, and he wants to have a word. But the idea here is did you get hit, or did you kind of work to get hit? Ah, there you go. Yeah. Hard hit ball. Jaeger stabs it, throws it, and a quick hitting for Landon Sims in the third. Ramirez does not have a strikeout. As of yet. And he does now. And he waves at the breaking ball and back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the third. Yeah, right about the time we noticed he didn't have any. And now Lane Forsyth will bat. To the left side, Mario tosses over. And nine up and nine set down by Luis Ramirez. You're going to get a lot of action on ground balls. Swings and misses at the fastball. And, well, Landon Sims has been lights out. And here's a 1-1. One -one. Off the handle down the left field line, and that one's going to fall in. And Saldivar on his way to second. It's a one-out double, and the freshman says, hey, this college game is pretty easy, guys. Swing and a miss at the fastball at 95. And that's strikeout number eight. And that was back at the second inning. Here's the 0-2. Swing and a miss. He'll grab some bench and that'll end the inning. Kind of a one-man shift at times. Popped him up. Shallow center field. Ranging in Pimentel. Still coming in. Still coming in. And he makes the cradling catch to end the frame. Elimination game on a walk-off walk. There's a swing and a miss, and Moeller goes down swinging. That's strikeout number 11 and a new career high for Landon Sims. Blank. You and over there. Inside the bag at third and down into the left field corner, Alex Pimentel on his way to second base, and he's got a one-out double. State was playing off the line at third. He didn't hit it hard, just got it right inside the line. Fly ball lifted into left field. Wind is blowing in, and Cumbus comes ranging in now. That will end the inning. 2-2, two, two, swung on and missed, and a strikeout for Ramirez, and that's his third strikeout today. 3-2, missed down and in, and the Dogs have a base runner. A two-out walk by Kellum Clark.
Sunday start on getaway day. 2-2. Two -two. Air strike three on the outside corner. Just kept waiting for that fastball, and he finally got it over the outside corner. Three-foot fair. Or three feet. Off the handle, second baseman Yeager. Bare hands throws, and it is not in time. Boy, nice play by Yeager to get to it. Just a ball hit right off the handle out of the right field. Watch and see if he... And they call him safe. Huh. You start the runner, there he goes. Pitch is high, the throw down, and he is gone. Logan Tanner put it right on top of the bag, and that'll do it for Long Beach State here in the top of the sixth. Foul tip, and the catcher held it, and a strikeout of Braylon Skinner to start the sixth inning. Pitching in a, on a stage like this, and now he walks the nine-hole hitter Forsyth with one out here in the sixth. Breaking ball stayed inside, and Jaeger takes second. Off and running, and Burns trying to frame the pitch with two strikes. Ground ball up the middle. Shortstop Murillo up with it. Throws across and picked by the first baseman long to end the inning. Oh, my goodness, what a play by the first baseman. Swing and a miss. He threw the slider, and Long swings and misses. His third strikeout today. Swing and a miss. And Logan Tanner will toss down the first. And that's the 13th strikeout of the day. Strikeouts for Landon Sims in his first start. There's a shot to right field and hit well. Could it go? Yes, it will. And a bomb to right field by Caden Moeller. And Long Beach State has a 1-0 lead in the top of the seventh inning. The freshman from Riverside, California, with his first career hit and a solo shot to right field. And a fly ball lifted into left field, and Brad Cumbus will range back. And now comes in to make the catch, and that will end the inning. Swing and a miss, and Tanner goes down swinging. Five strikeouts. That ball flipped the other way in the left field. It's going to drop for a base hit. On his way to second, oh, and Hines boy. is out a country mile. Hunter Hines got the first Bulldog hit of the day and thrown out trying to stretch it into a double, and that will end the seventh inning. Outside, pulled through the fastball and a leadoff walk in the eighth inning. Way outside, it skips away from the catcher and a walk and now a wild pitch by Parker Stinnett. And a breaking ball swung on and missed and Rosales goes down on strikes. Breaking ball lined in the left center field. And that'll drive home another run. Latrell on his way to second. He slides in head first with an RBI double. And Long Beach State has a 2-0 lead. Breaking ball stayed up just a bit. Yeah, good short swing to the baseball going the other way. And run scores easily. And now another man down in scoring position. Rocco Pepe will bat. And the fastball, it hits him. Here's a 2-0. To the left side and through it into left field. That will drive home another run. As Long has a two-out RBI single to left field, it's a two-run top of the eighth inning, and Long Beach State leads 3-0.
And now Sebastian Murillo will bat. He's 0 for 3 today. Struck out his last two times up. Flips that one into right field. Kellum Clark ranging over, makes the catch, and that will end the inning. There's a ball hit deep to right field. Right at the wall and making the catch is Latrell for out number one. Well, Kellum Clark puts a charge in the one, but it died when it got to the outfield. Swing and a miss, and Cumba strikes out for the third time today. And now two outs in the eighth inning. I think if you're a long beat, you're just trying to get guarantee a win. I wouldn't be surprised to see him in the ninth. Swing and a miss. McGowan strikes out swinging in a 1-2-3 inning for Long Beach State. Here's a 1-2. Strike three called. And quick work for Stone Simmons of Alex Pimentel. And Stone Simmons strikes out the side in the top of the ninth. Skies that one down the right field line, down into the corner. And it's going to hang up and chase Latrell over there to make the catch for out number one. Swing and a miss and a good hard slider. And now Long Beach State, one out away. The story of the day pitching, Ramirez, Matt Fields, and now Devereaux Harrison. Ground ball chopped to short. And that'll do it. And Long Beach State comes into Starkville on opening day and knocks off Mississippi State by a final of three to nothing. And one hits the Bulldogs. Mm -hmm.